Good morning. It's Lori, the armchair chef. I know that fall is here because I've switched to tea. Yeah. You know, I like coffee and I have coffee. If I have more than one cup, it sits here and gets cold and then I don't want to drink it. It just doesn't even taste good. But when I drink tea and it sits here and gets cold, it still tastes good. So I have my tea separated into caffeinated and non-caffeinated. So my morning, I can grab some caffeine. And at night, I can grab some decaf. And I mix up water bottles to take to work. I have my ice machine. I might hang on to the ice machine, at, except at this plant, we have an ice maker. So I could just put drinks in it and then get the ice at the ice machine. So I might not need it for the winter. Um, but I buy the... I like fizzy, a little fizzy. So what I've noticed is I'll get a sugar-free, zero calorie soda of some sort and then mix it with a flavor, a Powerade that's zero sugar, a fruit juice that's zero sugar. That's the refreshers they had at Starbucks. And that's what I drank this summer. I made iced tea and put fruit juice in it for free. Well, almost free. My last coffee at Starbucks was a hot coffee, a venti, and it was $8. Yeah. It was good. But because there's no ice in it, it's all coffee. It always costs more because you're getting the whole volume. And I'm just, I can't do that no more. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, once in a while for a treat maybe. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm switching over. I'm switching my, my kitchen over to fall. I bought some acorn squash and I remember I used to cook these all the time, cut them in half and put some butter and brown sugar in them and bake them. So I'm going to see if I need to do that, if I can quarter them, put them in foil and put them in the toaster oven or the air fryer. Maybe I can do them in the air fryer, roast them a little bit. That might be good too. Um, I just saw somebody do some sweet potatoes in her oven and she baked them and, and roasted them a little bit to put them in a salad. I also bought some fixings for a pasta salad. I bought some stuff that I would put in it. I have pepperoncinis and, you know, some cheese and some um, lunch meat, some red peppers, some olives, black olives, and I have, you know, and the dressing, and then you cook up your pasta, and you just mix all that crap together, and then it soaks up the, the dressing, and then just before you put it in the container to take it, I put a little bit more dressing on top of it, because it's been soaking it up. Really good. I did that before. I got one of those boxes, and I said, I can do that, so I did it myself, um, and let's see, what else did I do? I've been getting getting ready for the fall. I bought some soups. There's some new old El Paso. What brand is it? You buy three and you got a discount or something. So there was only two kinds of soups. So I had to buy three. Um, it's a big can, but it was like an enchilada soup. Um, and some, there were two Mexican type soups. So I also picked up some markdown ground beef and a big ham steak because I have a big bag of beans. I like to make ham and beans, I like a ham and bean soup, but I don't like mine as soupy. I like mine thick. So I've got that in the freezer. I've got picked up a couple pounds of ground beef to make like a chili mac, make a chili or make some taco meat. And then I picked up a bunch of rice. Now, what I've noticed is instead of dragging out the rice cooker and making a nice pot of rice, I just bought some boiling bag. Yeah. I just throw it in the microwave 10 minutes later, I've got rice. So much nicer. Less mess, less equipment just for right now. I just don't want the hassle of bringing equipment because I'm using the crock pot a lot and that takes up a lot of room. Oh, Mickey Mouse. I haven't even recorded that. I should do that sometime. Um, record all the noises he makes. And uh, so, yeah, getting ready for fall. Are you guys getting ready for fall? 
Are you um, doing anything special, changing your your diets, your your cooking styles? I know, I think uh, Lisa says she does. She's been switching over to do some things. Um, some of us switch over to, like, I switched to tea. Um, somebody's, I'm switching to crock pot, warmer foods. Uh, I did stock up on protein. I had to go clean out my crispers. I have one crisper. You know how big a crisper is? The whole thing's full of cheese. Really? The whole thing's full of cheese. <laughs> it's all kinds of cheese. Cheese and beef sticks. Shredded cheese. Two blocks of cheese. Uh, little pieces of cheese that I eat with my apples. Um, <laughs> it's like the whole thing. And I got sliced cheese to make like grilled cheese sandwiches with or put on sandwiches. All whole thing's full of cheese. So I had to go through and check and make sure nothing was was icky. Because at one time I put it in there, but some hair had gotten into one of the packages and it molded. So I got rid of the ones that were open, got rid of all the old eggs, um, picked up some new eggs, got rid of the old ones. And the newest old eggs were from used by July. So those were the newest ones that I had till I just bought some. And with this new little egg cooker that I got, I did make some hard boiled eggs and they did peel pretty well after they were refrigerated. So I think I might like it. Just making a few at a time. I think I might like that. And I do like egg sandwiches and um, I can always cook up some, some scrambled eggs, put it in the rice. I'm trying to switch over to eat less crap. I was looking for some crap last night. I was really got the munchies really really wanting something and I found some pop tarts <laughs> so I had some pop tarts um and I found that GLP is what curbs those cravings and I did not take it this week because my shipment was delayed about five days and it got it, it was not refrigerated cold anymore so I thought I'd wait and see I need to take a shot so apparently the stuff I'm getting right now is not as, um, is not as strong as the stuff I got from my private doctor before. And so that's good because this time it won't make me puke a lot like the last one did when I overdosed. Um, so yeah, I need to take a shot. And what that'll do is that'll just satiate you and give you the, take those cravings away. It kind of makes you feel like you've, you're satiated. You're not craving anything, which, yeah, when I'm getting tired and falling to sleep, I want to eat. Instead of going to sleep, I want to eat to keep myself awake. That's kind of, kind of the mentality. It's kind of weird. So why am I here? Oh yeah. I just went to the mailbox and I got the bags from Hobie that I didn't get in my last package. My second bad package that I got from Hobie. Let's hope that it doesn't look like they threw any extra stuff in there to compensate me for all the trouble I've been through. But they are very nice in their emails. So let's open this up and see what I got. There should be two mystery bags of acrylic because the wool one had bugs in it. So I didn't want any more of their wool. But I got two of the acrylic and I should have another package of buttons. Now... I got to go through and sort and organize my um, crafting supplies a little bit more because I know I have, I have buttons and eyes and bells and things, but they're like back there in that corner with my crafting stuff. I got everything together in one spot in a lot of little places, but it's all in one spot. So I have to find it. Okay, there's my buttons. I like the little wooden box, but I got the, um, the holiday buttons, which is nice. Could use that on some holiday stuff, some some scarves and hats and things. And so I've got that one. I hope I'm recording. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, okay. So now I should have two acrylic bags. Did I get any candy? Nope, they must have saw the video where I said I got nine pieces of candy and said, oh, you've had yours for the year. You don't get no more candy. They should be giving me a bag of candy for all the trouble I've been through. Anywho, 
Okay. Let's open these up and see if they're the same. Let's see what I got. Um, I have been crocheting. I almost finished. Okay, now I'm confused. I'm very confused. I remember watching Mad Mimi's video and it was a witch's hat. Now everybody's making these hats with two points on them. Where did that one come from? Uh, did I miss a week? Did I miss a video? That's what everybody's making. Somebody made the, the witch's hat and then somebody made the pointy holiday hat, which I've still got the really long one pointy elf hat and I'm still looking for bells for that to finish it. But did I miss one? Okay, let's see what's in this one. Oh, coming out the bottom. All right, let's see. This should be the acrylic. And I did get some. Oh, I do like this. I like fat yarn. I got some Amigo XL, 100% acrylic. It's not XL, it's Giga. It's fat yarn, a green and a blue. Very pretty. This would make really a nice... Um, non-gender specific project. I like that because um, there's some stuff coming up that I want to make. Okay, and there's a red. I got another Amigo and this one's a, uh, looks like a three. What's it say? Three. Uh -huh. It's a red, which is great for the holidays. Okay, so I got those. Now let's see what the other one is. It feels like it might be the same. If it is, that's great, because then I'll have a lot more of them. Put that over there. Scissors. Okay. Oh, awesome. I've got one blue and two more blue. This is the Giga and it is 100% acrylic and it has, it's a five with 104 yards. So that is 312 yards of the blue and 312 yards of the green. I love that. I love this. It works up so fast. This would make a wonderful scarf because we have a bunch of uh, projects coming up and things, and this would work up so fast, and it's so soft. And so to go with the green, the red, I've got a green. Look at that. I'm very happy with the replacement. No bugs, no candy, but I am very happy. The red and green, it's not the typical red and green. It's a little darker than what you're seeing. And um, so, yeah, very, very happy with this. Let me put them back in this one because this one's bigger. So I can get them put in my room with all my other stuff. I have a, my stuff's kind of separated in there. Fat yarn, Christmas yarn. Um, there's a lot of things coming up. I was watching next year's Things Are Making Thursday, the discussion about what they're going to do, the, what the themes are going to be for each month. And see, that's that's a monthly thing, which is nice because then you have all month to do one thing. The weekly things are a little rougher on me because of how slow I am. It took me a whole month to do that elf hat. It's taking me a week to do my one of my own projects on my breast cancer awareness list. I thought, I guess I should finish one of my own. And it's taking me a few days from when I started it. I decided to do the um, ribbon scarf where you, you leave a hole in it and it goes through. Well, I didn't do that. I started out with this cotton, like this bulky cotton. And then I went in, it's okay. And then I went in to my room and found some other yarn that was the sparkle variegated that I got from Hirschner's. So I put that in the middle. So I'm doing three rows of the pink 
which is a five. And I did one, two, three, four, five rows of the variegated sparkle. And now I'm doing three more rows of the pink. And that'll be the scarf. And I made it longer so that it would, you know, go around, say, a taller person. Because the one that, that she had was shorter. I thought, well, I'd rather take a longer one. So it's, it's not going to be too bulky, but it's going to be pretty. It's got the pink variegated inside with the reds and the whites. And then, um, so yeah, that's going to be the scarf. When I get that finished, that'll be for my um, October. I'm almost done with the second side. I don't know if I'm going to do, do any embellishments on it. I have no idea. I've not thought about that yet. So it could just be left plain. Don't know. So I have people sending me emails for the November challenge I have going out, which is my secret Santa. We're going to be making something new for somebody and it'll be for the person that you get paired up with. Um, I'm asking you, if you're interested, to participate. Send me something in the mail that tells about yourself. Um, it can be your hobbies, your, your channel. If you have a channel, um, put that in there. If you, uh, your YouTube name, so if somebody sees you around, they can say hi, you know, you won't know they're sending you anything. Um, your mailing address. I totally forgot. <laughs> to put because I mostly have all your mailing addresses but I just want to make sure I have your mailing address some of them I've gotten wrong recently uh, make sure if you've moved or something I have the new one I have the master list still I uh I keep that updated and uh you know it's always nice to send out happy mail or prizes or something you know to have have the address I'm not going to sell it to anybody oh my god I got my new phone and I got my phone number switched over to um, Xfinity. I get so many phone calls, <gasps> text, because they sold my phone number. It's on a list again. And it's just, oh my God, block, 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 block. It's like, oh my goodness. It just starts over again because it's a new phone company. Same number, but a new phone company. So, you know, I'm on, I'm on the mailing list. Okay. So send me an email with your information you want somebody to know so they can make you something information about your likes your dislikes your hobbies your sizes your um allergies also let me know if you have a cat allergy and i will make sure you get a uh, somebody that doesn't have a cat sending you something because i know it doesn't matter how hard we try these little hairs go everywhere um and also, let me think, there was another thing that I saw when I was watching somebody's video. Oh, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Stuff in the kitchen's making noises. Um, the idea of this is to make something for the person. If you get something, if you get a person and you're not really able to do what they want, that's that's okay. You're going to be able to do what's at your abilities. The information you're giving of yourself is a guideline to that person. It's not saying, make me a sweater, make me a hat, make me a scarf, make me slippers. We're not doing that. We're just giving them a guideline as to, we don't know what their abilities are. I mean, I can't make nothing huge because it takes me way too long so i might be making a bag i'm a lot of things i make turn into bags so just saying a lot of things i make turn into bags i've done that many times because it i'm i get tired of making it and i just finish it and fold it over and sew it up done okay um but yeah it's a guideline for them to keep in mind when they're putting your package together um and I always say there's not a bad gift because you can always pass it along to somebody else. Um, mailing, I had somebody ask me for somebody that was further away because they wanted to send them some regional stuff. That is cool. If you really want to do that, you can let me know that too. And, and even if you have further information you want to send me, I can add it to your, to your list when I send out the, the um, emails later on in, in another week or so. So yeah, I also have... A happy meal I want to open. I have had a happy meal sitting here 
just making me happy just having it here. I got a package. This is a post office box. Well, not a P.O. box, but this is a box from one of our post offices. Somebody bought it and sent me something. And I got to open it first and find out if there's a note or anything in here before I say anything. Because, you know, I know who it is because I can see the address. So let me open this up and see what's going on in here. Because I would not want to divulge anything that did not want that was not intended to be divulged. So let's see. Oh my goodness, it's childproof. I think so. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, taped really well. Okay. Ooh, there's some yarn in here. Let's see if there's a no. Because you know, heaven forbid you get me, you get get my name or send me something with a note in it. Let's see. Nope, I don't believe so. So, okay. Nope. Okay. No, no. All right. Then I guess it's fair game. I can tell you what I know. This is from Deb. I sent Deb a prize. And I sent her something in there that I thought she'd be able to use that was really nice. There was like, a, um, cause she's been making, she, she, she's told me things she's been making for her family and stuff. So I had sent some of that yarn that I got that was in the Hanks and she has made herself a top. It was just beautiful. I said, oh, this is the kind of yarn that she used to make that top. So I, I sent her some, I think it was three or four skin, three or four Hanks. And, um, so she sent me back some fat yarn. This is cool. She does buy her own yarn, so she does have some extras. And she must have got this from uh, Wool in the Gang. Where do we get this yarn from? Remember, this is a. Uh, does this come in the Mary Maxim boxes? I know it's acrylic and polymide. So soft, though. Oh, this would make a really nice cowl. So that's a dark maroon. There is a card. I almost missed it. Okay. I think she sent me a kit. I have to make something. I'm not sure. <laughs> she sent me yarn. And, oh, okay. She sent me, this is the leftover yarn. This is all that's left over of what I sent. It was those hanks of cotton. Araconia Papasayo. And I sent that to her because she had made a top out of this and it turned out beautiful. Well, apparently she made me one. Yeah. I was like, really? You want to do that? Okay. I don't, I'll let you. I was like, you never have to do anything, but it's always nice when somebody does something nice for you. Um, slipper. Slippers. She said these would be really nice soft slippers. I'm like, yeah, they will. This would be really nice. I think I have some slippers around here somewhere that I've uh, set aside. One of them turned into a dog right there. There's my slippers that turned into a dog. Um, so, okay. This, this is what Deb sent me. She made me a top. Okay, now I'm going to take this out and show it to you, and then I'm going to have to try it on and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I have not even made myself anything to wear. Okay, there's a stitch marker in it that shows where the back is, I guess. 
That's what she's telling me. And I don't understand that until I see what she's doing. The stitch marker is to mark the back. Okay. Yeah, I that didn't mean nothing to me until I saw it. You know, that's how much I know about making clothes. Okay. Oh my God, this is beautiful. The light in here is not good either, but oh, look at this. I think she made one like this for herself. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty. It's heavy. This is cotton. Look at how beautiful. The, um, there's X's up on the top. Wow. Oh my God. Matches my hair. <laughs> oh, I need to buy stuff now to match my hair. Oh my God, Deb, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Wow. This looks like, did you do a pattern? You'll have to say below if you followed a pattern. Um, yeah, I could show you the, the stitches here. She did some, some cross stitches. Oh yeah, you're not gonna be able to see that very good, but some X's in the neckline and some little cap sleeves, which is awesome because I think she's in a warm climate. And I don't like being hot. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much. I got to really make me one. Everybody else does this and they just pop them out like, you know, like they've, like they're babies, slippery babies. Oh my God, I got to try this on and I'll have to add that in, get a picture and show you what fits. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And I'm sure it's, what hand wash which means i'll only be wearing it on special occasions oh my god it's so pretty thank you so much and you said you don't have a talent you have a beautiful talent look at this you are so skilled and, and you're fast thank you so much oh my gosh this is beautiful i'm gonna try this on and before i put this up i'll get some pictures add them in there and I will show you. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, that is, that is this video. And I will, you know, expect to hear from you if you want to play in the November game, the um, Secret Santa. And uh, yeah, there's some other stuff going on if you guys want to get into it. I think I just saw Julie doing a bag. She's going to open up bags and show us what's in them. Um, Shannon's going to finish her cat, I think. That might be what she said. Um, 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 Elaine's doing some little stuff. I just saw a little video how to do a jelly bean spider. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. You guys that like doing that, those would be so cute. They were she made them in all kinds of different colors. Just, just look on YouTube for jelly bean spider. You could probably pop up a whole bunch of these. You do the butt and then you do the, the, the head with the legs attached. Yeah. It's like four inches long. It's so cute. So I will see you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. And, um, message me below if you need to know anything. Okay. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.